So, I'm just bouncing in now. We're going right into episode 3. I'm trying something different for this one. I purposely didn't put up episode 2 because I wanted to mix it with both of episode 2 and 3. Just to try something. Uh, for myself personally. But, uh... Also, I wanted to ask you guys if you prefer one episode per video or you want me to keep doing two episodes per video and just like spread them out more. It's up to you guys. Just wanted to update you guys on that. Uh, yeah. Man, <laughs> people got real fucking butthurt about episode one of She-Hulk. That's crazy. I'm just here for a good time, honestly. Feels like She-Hulk. Feels like She-Hulk. It's, it's She-Hulk. And then there's everyone else that got their fucking panties in a Anyways, it's time for another half an hour with Jennifer Walters. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, that's some nice ass art though. Panic while fleeing traffic court. Like, like a chick hulk. A she hulk? Exactly. A she hulk? Give them what they want. <laughs> <laughs> Just looks into the camera. There's a hot chick over there. I'm gonna go talk to it. What the fuck? Some guy just gave me both of these drinks for free because you're a superhero. Hey, yo. Uh, I'm not. Sure. <laughs> Are you okay? Do you need... Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Did she get okay. drunk okay. because so she went back to Jen? Jury today. Do you have to let you go? Well, this makes you a liability for the DA's office. Wait. Wait, you're firing me? Damn. I also find it really funny. She got instantly drunk when she reverted out of Hulk form. Jen, what? <laughs> you don't have to worry about getting fired. I already told everyone, so it won't be awkward. No one's going to bring it up. <laughs> it won't be awkward. Bye, Bye Jen. You're not fired. It's pretty hazardous to leave those things lying around. Junkie highlights. Appreciate you. Oh, no, I could not. To be head of a new division, yes. Take some time. I accept. <laughs> I accept. Uh, but I <laughs> will only do it if I can hire my own paralegal. Non negotiable. I truly do not care who your paralegal is. You to be at work and in court. As the She-Hulk, not as a normal. Person. That comes. Uh, that comes off as a. We right want now. the other one, not you. Okay, this sucks. I'm totally qualified. <laughs> this sucks. This are those a bunch of comic books on the wall? So unfair. Should be able to enjoy the fact that I just got an amazing new job. I love that I she's can't. telling us. Oh, she's oh, ranting oh, to oh, us. Please, Dodo. I'll spend the rest of the year worrying about what I just said. <laughs> it's on the superhuman law division. Oh, I, it's I'm the boy. Walter. Is it Why weird that I automatically don't trust him because I watched Arrow? A map to the best bathroom for both. Thank you. I don't trust Mr. Chase already. First case is the parole of Emil Blonsky. Oh. Oh. Also oh, known well. as abomination, Mr. Blonsky has been serving a sentence in an ultra high security prison. I am very familiar with Mr. Blonsky, sir. Well, there's not really much she could do in that situation. All these fucking protocols. I mean, understandable. It's fucking abomination. Serve me up with some fava beans and a nice can. Ma'am, this is a prison. Of course. I love Jennifer, bro. Ah, uh, shit. The serum the government gave you caused your <laughs> subsequent actions? Captain Bloody America. Something. You know, and now that very threat, your cousin is held up as some kind of hero, and I'm locked up in here. Where's the justice in that, Jen? I understand your point, but the parole board's gonna need. I feel to bad, but I also don't trust him. Uh, various haikus that I've written. Oh boy. To <coughs> each of my victims, expressing. The sorrow. Oh, you don't have to. If you'd like to experience them. That's okay. I can. My. Wonder if she's gonna call Bruce. Wait, is she... oh my god, the, the timing on that. <laughs> hey Jen, what's up? That fight was so many years ago. I'm a completely different person now. Literally. Ha. <laughs> 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 I love the fourth wall breaks. She Hulk. 
don't. <laughs> no, I love that. That's got a nice ring to it. She Hulk, attorney at law. Oh, I mean, there are like. <laughs> yeah, probably not for a minute. I got some things I gotta take care of. Huh? Oh, he's going to space? He's going to Sakaar? Okay, phone call over, I guess. Glad to hear it. Uh, you might want to take a look at the news right now. Yes. Oh, no. Good evening, Miss Walters. Uh, uh, have a good evening, sir. So far, there have been no statements made by Emil Blonsky's attorney after shocking footage leaked showing the abomination participating in what appears to be an underground fight club. After oh, my God. After having escaped from prison. <coughs> oh. That sucks. <laughs> oh, that sucks. But he does, but you still need it. Dude, I don't know what I'm doing down here. Damn, Jen. Turn I'm turning to the left, I'm turning to the right. Look. Yeah, oh, good. Good, come on up. I swear, I swear I'm looking respectfully. Pretty good episode. The, this, this feels like TV. I'm not gonna lie. Like, this, these feel like, like the way it just ended just now, it didn't even feel like it was close to ending. I'm being serious. Like, this deadass feels like a actual show I would watch on TV now. It doesn't feel like a cut up movie like most of the Marvel shows have felt. So. I love the pacing of this, honestly. I it actually it felt like it flew by quick. Another solid episode from me. Jen's got a new job. Got over personal. It, I'm glad. I I, I want to know because this seems like like it seems like Blonsky is reformed. Wong made this more of a problem because he he brought him out because I'm pretty sure Wong is because Wong brought him back to the prison in Shang Chi at the end of the fight. So that's probably how Wong's gonna get involved since he is associated with an escape. <laughs> Man, I can't wait for next week. I'm loving this show already. Episode two, and I think the, if I remember, there's eight, nine, nine, eight, ep eight, nine episodes. I don't. It's between there. Yeah, episode three, baby. The people versus the Mal Blonsky. The main Blonsky. Of the mystic arts, and his name is Wong. Wong. Just Wong. Sent a thirst trap. It was a picture of me with a bunch of books. I just hope I sent a thirst trip. You know, it's. I know you can't wait to see Wong. I get it. Uh, <laughs> I just want to make sure that you don't think this is one of those cameo every week type of shows. That's not. Well, except Bruce. And Blonsky. And Wong. Just remember whose show this actually is. Oh my god. <laughs> I love the fourth wall break so much. But then they gave it to a woman? Yeah, man. Oh my god. So we have a Me Too movement and now all the male heroes. Not the Me Too movement. I'm just saying, make your own. I don't know about y'all, but I'd smash. On the line, we have Gideon Wilson, the prosecutor, put the abomination away all You know, I'm not going to elaborate on that. Well, to be fair, I thought I was. From New Asgard. Sorry, what? Sorry, you thought you were dating Megan the Stallion? multiple grammy award winner megastar oh megan my god <laughs> is this where megan comes in i've been seeing this trend on twitter all week small chris i received your message how much money in cash and gifts did you spend on the megan the stallion imposter oh man Ugh. this is amazing you just say a number and you tell me higher or lower okay uh considering that you bought her a mid-sized sedan how about fifty thousand a hundred Two hundred. Two hundred thousand? I am not a fool. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bukowski. Security! I love harassing women in the workplace. It's my kick, baby. Oh my no. god. No I way. Don't. I don't. You guys know me. <laughs> you, <laughs> you guys you know me. Uh, are those your soulmates? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my so God, the about. soulmates? Well, uh, yes, the, the witness Wong, is prepared to give a statement after Mr. Blonsky gives his. Are we really mm -hmm. entertaining the idea of releasing someone who's been documented escaping from prison? The prison's literacy program. He's helped countless prisoners learn how to read. Wong, please. <laughs> oh, thank God. Ah, my apologies, Miss Walter Swimmel. Ah! Finally! I lost track of time. You ask God. Excuse me, Your Honor, but as 
Coast Guard is not a place. It is a people. Therefore, I Thor's have... inspirational speeches are not a deal <laughs> in court. To serve out his sentence and repay his debt to society. Thank you. Oh, my God. So, you see... I love this lawyer shit. He was forced out of his cell against his will. Comes abomination. Isn't he a raging monster out for blood? Yep. Excuse me? If I could just put your mind at ease. <laughs> oh, no. Absolutely not. Right? Oh, no. No, no. Please. <laughs> As his stellar prison record reflects, Mr. Blonsky spent his entire incarceration Damn right. practicing a strict Jen. regimen of training and self-discipline so that he may walk among his fellow citizens with no chance of becoming a rampaging abomination again. You've just admitted to facilitating a prisoner escape, which is a crime. I must depart. I must depart. <laughs> it is what it is. For soulmates. Is there any truth to the rumors you got your powers from a mafia hit gone wrong? What? That was Jennifer Walters. Wow. Well, just they just straight up said her original origin story. <laughs> that to the spot. Oh, yeah. No, you're gonna need that. Can I gonna... the ending story? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> to work with him for... He's almost terminally deluded. I'd call him gross. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, would you be willing to say that under oath? Would you be willing to say I that under an the oath? The testimony I'm about to give today is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. In your opinion, Miss Walters, do you think that Dennis Bukowski would believe that he could actually pull Megan? Yeah, absolutely. Stallion. Yes. Dennis Bukowski is an almost pathologically entitled man. He would absolutely believe that he's dating the real Megan Thee Stallion because he is truly that delusional. No further <laughs> questions, Your Honor. That's right. There's only one Megan Thee Stallion. Hey, Megan. <laughs> ah. <laughs> After reviewing his record, we hereby grant Mr. Blonsky's release on parole effective immediately. Yes. Let's get it, baby. As a condition of his parole, Mr. Blonsky is prohibited from turning into abomination indefinitely and is ordered to wear an inhibitor in perpetuity. Any violation of this condition will result in his immediate return to prison. Oh, God. I got her! Come on, baby. I got her! Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Get off me. God damn. Okay, bad idea, bad idea. Get it, no. Once you turned into She-Hulk, I couldn't pierce that nasty green skin. Damn it. Boss gonna be mad. Damn. I feel bad for her, but why is this outro going so hard? Hi, there's my new favorite client. Just, just your signature. Name. Oh my God, it's a Megan. It's Megan. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Kill it, Jen. All right, Jen. Get it, Jen. All right, Jen. Oh, you are way more fun than my last lawyer. I will kill for you, Megan Thee Stallion. <laughs> <laughs> Have I mentioned how much I fucking love this show? <laughs> My god, I love this goddamn show. I'm gonna say that every fucking week. Get ready for the repetitive wheel of me saying, I love this goddamn show. Well, episode 3 was fucking good. See you guys in the next video. I have nothing else to say. I've been praising it this entire time. Later.